So for the next part of this process, we gotta cut it in half. So after you get this guy cut in half, you can see that it's the same thing as the big one, it's just a lot smaller. And what the plan is, is to make something that nobody else has. So the CT Sounds Team Series amplifiers came in a wide variety between the 3000, the 4000, the 7000, but they never had a four channel. So you had all this power for your subwoofers, but no mids and highs to match. Why well, found a solution. So I have a couple of these amplifiers. These are 1000 watts, four channel, 125 by four at four ohms. These were made by CT Sounds back in the day. The cool part about these is that they have a board that is eerily similar to the Team Series. These may have been some sort of a precursor to the Team Series. So the idea is, we're gonna take the board out of here, we're gonna stick it in there, we do some cosmetic magic to make it all work, and ideally, I'll have a 125.4 Team Series amplifier. So check it out, this is the goal. This is that same amplifier board mounted using the factory Team 7K screws in each half of the Team 7K housing. And I have two of these amplifiers. There's just enough of these guys to go all the way around. I'll have to make some new holes to mount them, but that should be no problem. So let's check out some of the fine details. These are the plates for the old amplifier. These are the plates for the Team Series amplifier. I considered cutting these up and welding and making that work, but I think I'm gonna keep these original and I think I'm gonna make something totally new for here. So as you can see here, they're both exactly the same height. The difference is these little wing pieces on the side make the Team Series a little bit wider than their older counterpart, but the holes match up and the mounting feet match up. So a buddy of mine with the plasma cutter, he made these little wings we're gonna weld these on the side to make up that gap and made them just long enough that I can bend them to match the exact footprint. So as you can see here, with this one mounted on the amp, this one will come in and match the factory Team Series amplifier on the edge. So we're gonna take this plate to make up for the thickness, give us something to mount to. This guy's gonna go here. These guys are gonna go on the sides, get bent up. All this is gonna get welded together. And then what I'm gonna do is paint them to match the Team Series. Then what I'm gonna do is laser engrave all of these markings back onto the new paint with a laser engraver. So then I should be able to just slide this guy back on top, slap the end plates on after I remake them, mount this guy up, and it should be a CT Sounds Team Series 125.4, and I'll have two of them.